briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a major ruling on public outreach for the broadcasting industry, the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit took a strong stand in 1966. The case, Office of Communication v. Federal Communications Commission, revolved around WLBT, a Mississippi TV station whose license renewal had been approved without any public hearing. Critics argued that the station's programming lacked balance and diverged from public interest. The conflict reached boiling point when the FCC denied the appellants, representing the audience, the opportunity to challenge the renewal. Their legal standing was dismissed on the basis that they failed to allege a direct substantial injury. This did not sit well with the Court of Appeals, which counterbalanced with a one-year probationary renewal for the station. This renewal came with stringent conditions, demanding compliance with fairness doctrine and cessation of any discriminatory programming. The appeals court decided to seize the reins, ordering the FCC to host hearings on WLBT's renewal application and to entertain public intervention. The previously dismissed appellants were given legal standing as the representatives of the listening public. This allowed them the ability to present their concerns and expectations of the broadcaster. The commission was further admonished for its lack of due examination of WLBT's qualifications and past performance. The court ruled that such assessments are paramount when deciding on public interest considerations, thus grounding its reversal of the FCC's initial decision. Under the rule handed down by the court, supporting evidence for a broadcaster's commitment to serving public interest became a statutory requirement for license renewal. The court rejected the FCC's claim that a properly operated station automatically meant it served the public interest, pushing for more solid, evidence-based evaluations. The court then sent the record back to the commission for proceedings in line with its own ruling, retaining jurisdiction over the case. The question of crediting WLBT for good performance since June 1965 was left undecided, garnering additional attention to future hearings. In a sweeping decision, the court not only reversed and remanded the initial FCC decision, but also affirmed the central role of public interest in the broadcasting industry. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.